Hi, welcome to the Northern Region Market Watch, brought to you by RBI, Real Estate Business Intelligence, an MRIS company. We're going to dig into the most recent numbers from the Northern Region housing market, which includes the counties of Frederick and Washington in Maryland, Franklin and Fulton in Pennsylvania, Berkeley, Jefferson, and Morgan in West Virginia. Despite some choppy waters in August, there have been noteworthy shifts occurring on both sides of the closing table. Buyer activity is moving back in line with historical trends. Falling supply also indicates that market balance is realigning toward neutral. Locally, a few indicators posted positive movement over August 2010, but do the rest of the numbers provide reason for optimism? Pending sales increased 23.5% from August 2010 to arrive at 788 for the month. Sales volumes have come back in line with normal historical trends for this time of year. Keep in mind that the 2010 slowdown extended into the second half of the year as Uncle Sam's credit changed summer and fall buyers into spring chickens. The gains in buyer activity meant fewer active listings were left on the market. Inventory levels were down 23.4% to 4,869 units. Assuming that trend continues, it should lessen any oversupply issues down the road. Prices were down from last year. The median sales price decreased 13.5% to $160,000. Since they lag behind changes in demand, prices were elevated at this time last year due to the purchase incentive. A few short years ago, sellers in many markets were faced with steep competition from bank-owned properties. They found themselves discounting the price of their nest egg to make their properties competitive in home searches. Fueled by a mixture of caffeine, low interest rates, and a couple of tax credits, Value-minded consumers began absorbing distressed homes. The situation has eased somewhat, particularly in the most desirable neighborhoods. Currently, on average, sellers are receiving 89.7% of their list price, down from the 91.3% they saw last August. The economy bobbed along just this side of positive. Consumer confidence, which often affects housing demand, showed some slack even as personal income and spending both increased modestly. Low interest rates, declining supply, and stabilizing prices are beacons of hope in the harbor, but the recovery still needs wind in its sails. That's the Northern Region Market Watch for this month. Check back next month for the latest.